Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. And with me now I have Roberto Rivera, who is the Early Childhood Liaison from 211 Info. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Now, 211 Info um, does all sorts of things. It's, it's a resource for the community that I really didn't know very much about. So maybe you could start out, Roberto, by telling us exactly what your organization does, what the, what the mission is. So we are a nonprofit organization that provides information and referral to Oregon and Southwest Washington for free. People dial 211, they let us know what their needs are, and we search in our database and either provide information or a referral to an agency that can provide a service to the, to the caller. Um, so like so like 911, if there's an emergency, people call, it's a free call. Mm -hmm. This call is non-emergency, but, well, in most cases, I would assume it's non-emergency, non but it's but you provide all sorts of information. Is that, that, that right? Is, that is correct. Tell, uh, tell me some of the, some of the, some of the areas uh, that you cover. Um, a lot of people call us because they are uh, either being evicted from their apartment or they have uh, they're falling behind on their electricity, mm -hmm. and so we get a lot of those calls and we we'll search in our database anywhere in the state of Oregon or Southwest Washington. And uh, if an agency or a program exists in their community, we provide them a referral to those to that service, so they can uh, either take you know take advantage mm -hmm. and, and uh, or benefit from those programs. Um, and so that's that's what we do. Um, we're the agency that is known for asking the second question. Sometimes you know callers just call two one one because they're looking for a number, but because we ask the second question, we find out that there isn't any food in their house, oh. and so we connect them. You know, the second question enables us to say, you know, there's a resource in your community that also provides a food box, and uh, you can go during this hour or uh, at this location, and and uh, this is what you need to bring in order to take advantage of those services. So you don't um, take. The, the call at face value you dig a little deeper we do dig a little bit deeper just to get the uh, the work you know to get the um, a sort of like an assessment or mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. what our callers are facing at that time and and you know and use our database basically as a tool sure. to to generate a list of resources that they can also take advantage of so you must have a lot of uh, partnerships I don't know if you call them partnerships but with lots of other nonprofits and government agencies I imagine that's basically yes that is correct and so it is a partnership with the uh, agencies other nonprofit agencies or provi or service providers that have a sliding scale fee so if it's a clinic uh, e either a, you know a free clinic or a clinic that that is a uh, um, provides a service at a low, low cost for mm -hmm. our callers. We have the partnership. We also partner with uh, local governments and their programs, uh, you know, the SNAP, uh, mm -hmm. the Healthy Kids, uh, the um, OHP. So if our call, one of our callers calls and, and doesn't have health insurance, then we could provide them a, a referral to, 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 to the Oregon Health mm -hmm. Plan and, you know, take All advantage right. of those. That's great. You know, working with um, nonprofits like I do in this show, I have been amazed by how many how many organizations there are out there to help people, and people don't not always know about them. You know, they they know what maybe their neighbors have used or they or what their family has you know run across in the past. But there are so many organizations out there to help people in all sorts of ways. That so, is. So you're you're the you're the uh, you're the means by which they can find out about most of those. That that is correct, and and we have a I want to say that we have a call center here in Portland where our call uh, takers, our community information specialists, are trained, um, they have the compassion, and they're also trained on how to navigate our database, and, and also on, on asking the second question, on digging a little bit deeper, and, and kind of getting the, you know, the full picture of what our callers are facing in, in all, throughout the state. So Sometimes um, people have a hard time asking for help, too, and I bet you maybe, I bet you they're, they pick up on that after a while, that these people yeah, there's something else that they need. That is correct. Now, are the, are the people that are taking the calls, are they staff? They are full-time staff. staff yeah. um, um, well, they're a mixture of full-time, part-time staff, and so um, they're pay. Okay. Uh, and so, do you have volunteers at all? I know it's a nonprofit, and most nonprofits work with you know lots of volunteers. But yours is is not a so much a volunteer organization Be, because of the nature of the work right, that we right. do um, we we really um, don't uh, have the capacity to have volunteers yeah, that makes sense that makes uh, sense so. so if if somebody were um uh, give, give me an example i guess of of an, uh, somebody that may have called this last week and how they would have been helped 
So last week, um, we got a lot of calls uh, from throughout, throughout the state and Southwest Washington um, for um, holiday assistance programs. And mm. so people calling because they either need a place to go to, they need a place for the upcoming, you know, holidays um, to have a Christmas dinner or um, um, toys for, you know, a gift for their, right. for their kids. Right. And so we get a lot, of, we got a lot of those calls. And then, you know, through that process, we find out that some of our callers might be facing an eviction, or they might be um, they might need a dental clinic. You know, they're they're, they're they have all no facing heat in their this, house. They're, they're, and it's starting to get cold or something like that. Ex yes, yeah. and so you know we can either provide them to a referral for a clinic or a weatherization program. Maybe it is a. You know that they don't have any um, insulation in their house, and or or the you know they're just falling behind on their bills, and so you know it's it's the it's sort of like the gateway call, but then you dig a little bit deeper, you you, you find out there is a lot of other issues that, given that they exist, you know the programs exist in their in in their uh, area, mm -hmm. then we can certainly you know provide a, a referral to to those agencies or services. So. Yeah. You know what's really great about this, Roberto, is that it. it you make it so much easier for people. Because you know, if, if somebody is in need of assistance for whatever reason, it can be very time consuming either to look through a phone book or if they have a computer to dig through you know, and try to find those organizations that can help them. And there's, there's lots of them, but it's hard to find them, hard to know which ones you would qualify for, which ones are worth pursuing. So you really um, cut out a lot, of that, a lot of that time and stress and energy that people have to put into to try to find the help they need. Plus, I imagine a lot of times they don't even know that that assistance is available to them. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's where, you know, it only takes three numbers, 211. That's easy. And, uh, and uh, you know, let us know where your needs are. Let us know, you know, we, we will ask you several questions. You don't have to provide us any information. So if this you can know, be anonymous. People this, don't have to tell you who they are. This can be a confidential call. Um, and uh, and. But you know, all that we care is that we provide the the correct information to services in your area, that you you know, and that includes the eligibility that you are eligible to take the advantage of the services. We really don't like to, uh, to refer people to to a service, to a provider, or to an agency where they don't qualify for the services. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so um, that's you know that's very unique to us. So we have that information in our database and are able to do a sort of like a, a pre-screening to, you know, pre-eligibility uh, for those services. And so that's where, you know, we add the value to our Yes, you do, so. you do. Now, if, if someone, um, well, tell me, that you, you talked about the database. Is, is that something that other people have access to? Or, or do we, um, if we need, you know, your help, we just, we call you. And that's, that's so, the way to get it. Um, that is actually a good question. <laughs> Anyone has access to our database. It is the same information to our callers. Our goal basically is to increase the accessibility to everyone mm -hmm. in, in our state in, in Southwest not Washington. Not everyone has a computer. And so uh, not everyone has yeah, a computer. Right. Not everyone you know, uses the internet, um, but a lot of people have a, a way to make a call. And so um, back to the computer, uh, you know, internet, we, if people, uh, want to visit us, we're at www.211info.org. And if you go into the search button, you can uh, search for the same information that, that our call center searches for, in, uh, in, and it's free. That's, um, that's great. So, so. And, and a lot of people are very computer savvy and have access to computers, but not everyone does. Um, for example, if someone is a homeless person, you know, it's unlikely they're going to have access to a computer unless maybe they go to the library or something. So um, if someone, uh, when the weather gets cold, somebody is a homeless person and they want to, um, and, and it's going to get cold and they need a place to stay mm -hmm. or they need a, a hot meal to eat you can help them with that kind of thing. Yes, correct? we can certainly provide them with a referral. We are the, the, you know, the number that people call when they're, they don't have any shelter, uh, they need an emergency shelter, whether because they're homeless or because of other issues that, you know, that they were maybe evicted from their apartment. Mm -hmm. um, we do maintain a list of uh, uh, agencies that provide, um, you know, temporary shelters, mm -hmm. housing uh, for, um, for individuals facing the, the, the the circumstances. Yeah. And, the and, circumstances. And people have different needs. I know, for example, here in East County, uh, there's a place called My Father's House, which houses complete families, mm -hmm. mom, dad, and mm -hmm. the kids, which a lot of shelters don't. It's just, you know, maybe mom and the kids. So you would know, you would have that information 
correct? That is correct. Yeah. We will have that information in our database, so um, people don't either have, you know, don't have to stand in the line and then find and then out. And find out that, they, they yes. don't qualify. <laughs> very frustrating. Yes. Very frustrating. It's hard yes. enough, I think, asking for help, let alone. Um, you know, let alone wait and then be turned down. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you let people know what they need to yes. to be eligible. So what what area does two one one cover? I mean, in, is it is it the whole state of Oregon? You said and, and part of Washington was that correct or? Yes. So in Washington, we include uh, uh, Clark and Escamilla County. Okay. And in Oregon, by the end of two thousand and thirteen, we're going to cover the entire state. As it is right now, we say that we cover about 90% um, of the population. Mm -hmm. okay. um, some of the uh, the counties on the east, um, the eastern part of the, of the state, areas. is uh, we still are not there yet, but we will be um, um, by the end of 2013. So, but so that so that's the goal, and that's not very far away. So that's yes. What? Um, how are how are you funded? We're funded by the United Way. Oh, and uh, really? which yeah. makes the you know the number free. Uh -huh. uh, from time to time, we do have some you know county programs where we have partnered with certain counties. So certain o o co uh, programs that are funded by the county or by the government to uh, to just increase the accessibility to those services. That's great. So. so um, Anybody can call this number if, if they're in the area, unless, unless they're in rural Eastern Oregon right now, that'll, that'll be covered, that'll be covered soon. Um, there's no charge. No charge. There's no charge at all no. to, to make the call. What, um, what do you think is the, what, what has meant the most to you in working this job? I mean, I imagine there's, you get a lot of, um, maybe some feel good kind of stuff, you know, working with people. What, what's meant the most to you working this job? Um, I like the accessibility that it brings to our communities. Mm -hmm. um, it could be any need. It could be a housing. It could be healthcare. It could be uh, parenting programs, parenting oh, services. They have that too. That's right. Um, yeah. So that's that's the you know the feel good about my yeah. job that that it is any program, any nonprofit, and the fact that it, you know we're focused um, on on serving communities in, in need. And right. um, the other thing that I, I forgot to mention is that is uh, we have uh, an interpreter bank that we can access. <laughs> you must have been reading my <laughs> mind. That was my next. <laughs> Question. I was so, going to ask if, if people uh, are, because we have a pretty large immigrant population. That, that is true. And so um, so we can increase the accessibility with those communities as well. And so um, so then everyone is using 211. Um, so that, that increases, great. you know, the That's feel great. good factor in, yeah. in my job. And, and it's free. Um, the other thing that I forgot to mention is that we're able to text information back to our callers. We're able to email information back to our oh. callers. So, you know, um, so Assuming they, can, they give you the, the number and the It is an option. Address. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's great. That's great. So sometimes maybe if the information is not readily accessible, then you would say, I'll, I'll be texting you, or is that the, when you would use that? Um, no, we could use it during the call. Oh, um, you oh. know, oh, like like I'm 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 looking up that address for you right now, and, and I'll be I'll be texting you or emailing you all the information, so you that, don't have to write it down. That is correct. Cool, I like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like that. Now you said um, healthcare. It was one of the things that you cover. Um, basic needs, energy assistance, um, housing, that kind of thing. Um, and you did mention there's some family resources, and I know you said there's going to be some changes coming up in that in the next year that you're going to be expanding on that. Mm -hmm. um, what about um, people that are, are disabled? Um, you have, you know, you're able to help them. People with legal troubles. What about that? Those, that those is all in our database. It is okay. Um, someone, you know, yesterday I did a presentation where someone was. Uh, it, well, I went, I attended a meeting where someone asked, "Is there a program out there that helps you with, uh, um, you know, employment readiness, where they can help you with your resume, where they can mm -hmm. help you with, you know." A, an interview where mm -hmm. they can help you with an application process. That so that's job. in our database. Um, other uh, programs where kind of additional programs that piggyback on that is the um, help you with your record, you know. Uh, oh, um, the clean slate. The clean crew. slate, yes. yes. So that's in our database. So legal issues either for people with, uh, you know, um, that are older adults or, mm -hmm. or younger people as well. Right. So that's all in our database. So it, doesn't, so it doesn't matter if you need the help, you, you, you can show them where to go. Yes. That's great. And so Good. Uh, anything else, because we're just about out of time, what, is there anything else that people should know about 211 Info? Um, we're a free service to our community. We uh, um, really uh, feel good about being um, active in our communities and, and, and showing the, the, 
that we can um, create, increase the accessibility to community services just by using the three numbers or, or our website. So that's sounds like just have, having you here in the community is making it a better place to live. Yes, yeah. and I do want to say that our call center is open Monday through Friday from eight until six. Until six, okay, good. So. Thank you so much, Roberto. I appreciate your help and I mean, your information that you've given us today. And I know there's a lot of people out there that probably knew nothing about it because I only knew a little bit about it. I had no idea the, the extent of um, the services that you provide. So thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks for watching us here on Community Hotline tonight. If you're in interested in finding out more information about 211 Info, well, you know what to do. You just give them a call and you can also go on their website. We will be back here next week. So stay tuned next week. We'll see you at the same time. Good night.